Hi, I'm Bill from CJ Pony Parts. If you're a Mustang enthusiast, you're no doubt familiar with Steed Autosports, who's been producing high-quality Mustang parts since 1988. One of Steed's areas of specialty is in suspension. Almost as soon as the 2015 Mustangs hit the road, Steed had full suspension handling packs available for these cars. So far, my personal 2015 Mustang, I've gone with the Steed of Sport Springs, which I'm really happy with. So today, I'm going to take it to the next level by adding Steed's adjustable front and rear sway bars. Cita sway bars are available individually as a front and rear set or included in a lot of their handling packages. They're high quality powder coated steel and use welded billet ends for extra strength. Both the front and rear sway bar have three individual mounting holes allowing you to set preload when installing and include bushings and unnecessary hardware for installation. For this installation, a lift or a jack and jack stands, half inch ratchet or impact gun, 18 millimeter socket, several extensions, swivel, 3 8 ratchet, 13 millimeter socket, 6 inch extension, quarter inch ratchet, 8 millimeter socket, 10 millimeter socket, 18 millimeter wrench, 17 millimeter wrench, 13 millimeter wrench, and a 6 millimeter Allen key. We're going to start with the front sway bar. To get the front sway bar bracket bolts, the easiest way is through the engine compartment. To do that, you want to remove your air box. Our install is a little different because we have a Ralph supercharger on our 2015, but once the air box factory or otherwise is out of the way, you'll be able to see the bolts a lot easier. With the airbox removed, now you can see the two bolts, one up here in the front and the other one right back there in the back. The rear bolt, because the alternator is going to be easier to get from down in your wheel well. With the wheel off, you can see it right in here next to this plastic panel. You may have to push the plastic panel back out of the way, but you can put a wrench on and get it from here. Once you have those separated before we go to the other side, disconnect the sway bar end link from our strut. We'll do the same thing on the passenger side, the rear bolt, get down here from the wheel well, and then the front bolt will get from the engine bay. Do the same thing with the end link on this side. For the front bolt on the passenger side, you'll have to sneak a long extension in from the top. Now the fun part's going to be actually maneuvering the bar to get it out once everything's disconnected. Probably want to go from the driver's side and bring it over this way since you have a little more space from removing the air box up top. You're kind of going to bring it behind the strut and sort of wiggle it down and sort of maneuver it. A second set of hands on the other side will make this easier. This is going to be the frustrating part of this installation, but you can get it out. Worst case, if you can't, if you can disconnect the strut from the spindle, drop that down, that will give you more room. Now we want to prep the new sway bar for installation. The brackets are going to go on once it's on the car. What we're going to do is thoroughly grease the new bushing and then put some up in here as well. Bushing slick, so just put a whole bunch inside there. Okay, now we'll fish it back into the car. And make sure the orientation of the bar is correct, and we'll put it in the place the same way we took the old one out. There we go. Right. I'll remove the sway bar and links. We won't tighten them down all the way, but we're going to put the end links on hand tight. You've got three different adjustment holes. The front hole is going to be the stiffest setting. This will be neutral. 
and this will be the soft, which will be closest to stock. I'm going to go right in the middle. Now we can install the brackets. Now put the brackets up into place. Seated and reinstall the bolts. I'm going to tighten up the end link. I will tighten down the other bolts from the top. Now we're going to reinstall our air box and move on to the rear sway bar. Your rear sway bar is going to be a little bit easier to get to. You can actually see all the bolts making it easier than the front. The first thing we're going to do, take off these two bolts here and remove the brackets for the brake line. Now we'll separate the end link from the sway bar itself. Once the links are removed, now we can remove the brackets that hold the sway bar to the subframe. Now we're going to grease up the bushings install them on the bar with the brackets and put it back into place. Now we'll maneuver the new bar up into place, basically the same way we took the old one out. Now put the brackets up into place with the original bolts. We're just going to get them hand tight and get them started. Once you have them all started by hand by a few threads, then you can tighten them down. Now we'll put the end links through the holes we're going to use. Again, we're going to go with the medium ones. We'll put it right in the middle. I'm going to put the supplied bracket over the end link once we have it in place. I'm going to loosely put the nut on here. Now I'm going to take the original bolt, put it through our brake line, through the top hole in the bracket, put the supplied nut on the back. I'm going to repeat the process on the other side and your installation is finished. The Steeda Sway Bar Kit was the perfect complement to the Steeda Sport Springs that I already installed. Even though the Performance Pack car does come with a better set of sway bars from the factory, the Steedas, particularly with the adjustability, took it to the next level. Body roll is greatly reduced, will definitely allow me to put the power down coming out of quarters a lot better than I could before. The installation is a little tricky for the front, with the back being pretty straightforward. It'll take around an hour and a half for both bars total. For more suspension videos for your 2015 Mustang, subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out CJPonyParts.com for the best selection of 2015 Mustang suspension.